those things? And what kind of house has a creepy, disembodied voice? Till Morning's Light is a big smooshing together of several different genres. There's some survival horror here, a dash of adventuring, and a smattering of swipey touchscreen brawlers too. And the end result is, well, it's something? It's clearly marketed at a slightly younger audience looking for a meatier gaming experience. And while it doesn't manage to satisfy entirely, there's enough here to like that you'll see it through to the bitter end. The game starts with you being pushed into a haunted house by a couple of your friends. From there, you've got one main objective, escape. Of course, this being a haunted house, that's easier said than done. And this being a haunted house in a survival horror game, you're going to have to solve a lot of slightly offbeat puzzles in order to get out. There are times when this feels sort of like a My First Resident Evil game. The puzzles aren't particularly macabre, but they involve finding the right keys for the right doors, sliding blocks around, and combining items together. And it's a perfectly pleasant experience. There's quite a lot of wandering around, but everything you need to find is highlighted in the gloom of the mansion, and the puzzles are never at point and click levels of obscurity. The fights, which occur when you stumble into a podgy ghoul or Prometheus style snake thing, are essentially QTEs. Tap at the right time to womp the beastie with your weapon, miss time an attack, and you'll take some damage yourself. The game's weakest point is its lack of identity. It doesn't quite know what it wants to be, and so ends up being a bundle of ideas and mechanics that never quite gel together into a coherent and essential whole. There's fun to be had here, don't get me wrong, and younger gamers in particular will enjoy the experience. But even they're going to realise that Till Morning's Light isn't quite all it could be. Neat. This has been Harry for AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.